So yes, this was the Bahama Islands flag. And the pirates were here. And the British ship controlling them. By 1718, King George appointed Captain Woods Rogers, a former privateer of the first royal governor of the Bahamas. Rogers' main job was to dispense with the pirates as he arrived in Nassau, with a royal pardon for any pirate who surrendered. By 1729, he had succeeded in his mission and commemorated the, exp the expulsion of pirates with the first national motto. And that is the flag that meant that they were banned. This is some this is some stuff from the time. This is Captain Woods Rogers book. This is all stuff. I'm not reading all this out. You'd have to just pause the screen and read it yourself. There you go. Leaving Fort Nassau, September the 17th, 1780. Captain Woods Rogers, the newly appointed governor of the Bahamas, interviews the ex-pirate Ben Horrigold. Can he trust Horrigold to help him restore order to the colony by capturing defiant pirates? Captain Charles Vane, we'll find out. So this is kind of how they lived. There's an original uniform. Wow, look. Original British uniform. That's at the British War. So the last years of Woods Rogers. Just zoom in on that. And what happened to Harry So, the last years of Woods Rogers, having sent Captain Woods Rogers to the Bahamas to buy back the pirates, the British government properly abandoned him. Rogers repaired the fort and mounted a few guns to protect it, but his request for naval and military reinforcements was ignored. He wrote an angry letter to London complaining that he had only a few sick men to combat 500 pirates. He was forced ill health to return to London and was replaced by Governor by George Penny, who proved totally ineffective. Rogers pursued authorities to restrain him, and in 1789 he returned to the island and increased powers and a salary of £400 a year. As governor in chief, he built a new barracks and encouraged the island islands to plant cotton and sugarcane, but again he fell ill on the 15th of June and he died at Nassau.